it going, everybody? It's another day in the Hello. Life. We're um, here today to talk talk a little bit more about this uh, album that we were working on. We recently <laughs> finished an album, Furtherville, and um, that's what it's called. Chris wrote some really great songs, and we brought in some really fine musicians, and we kind of put them together and made this. Oh, here's your copy. I meant to give you this. I need one. <laughs> Thanks. Here. You might want to put that in your compact disc player. Yeah. Um, but anyway, you, if you if you haven't noticed uh, yet, you you can probably find this album. Yeah. I had somebody <laughs> tell me they heard it on Google Play too, so it's definitely uh, Spotify. It's ubiquitous. Yeah. Spotify, Google Play, iTunes. Um, although we're we're not we haven't released it really. We're having a release. Are you planning a release show? Planning a release show April thirteenth, Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Oh man, Friday that's... the thirteenth and my my wedding anniversary. That's spooky that you got married on Friday the thirteenth. It wasn't Friday at the time, it was <laughs> but Saturday. it is this yeah, time. It is this time. All right. Well, um, we should talk about the song Furtherville um, on the album Furtherville. So yeah, I don't know. What do you, what do you have to say about it? You wanna, what, what do you want to know? What what is the song about? I don't know. What some some interesting from the right. song. Why should people listen to it? Or what might they hear if they listen to it? Um, I guess lyrically, you wrote right. the song. Yeah, lyrically actually it's kind of taken from a time, like, I just got out of college, I think, before, before I was married, and we were living in West Columbia, or Casey, and we were next to the train tracks, there were rats above us in the ceiling, there were rats in the trees, there were mice, <laughs> there were rats everywhere. There were mice living in our piano. Um, just oh, there's a, there's a line. There's a line about yeah. that in there, and there about the uh, like, yeah, with uh, what is it, birds. It is birds with um, poetic license. I changed it to birds. Okay, okay. It's fit better. Felt from the hammer of a minor third, sharing a piano with a nest of birds, whistling along to a favorite tune. They never learned to fly. They, they took the felt from the little piano hammers and chewed off the felt, the soft felt inside it and built little nests inside. You could hear the little feet picking the strings as they ran down, they sound like harpsichord kind of sounds. It was kind of, kind of creepy. We should get some mice for the piano. Yeah, that would be, oh, yeah. So we took this, we took this song and we're kind of fleshing it out and um, we came up with this really cool effect, I think, um, in the very beginning. It, it, it sort of like, it felt like it should have a train in the beginning of the yeah. song, and we talked about recording trains. I like had the idea, you know, that uh, down by the old tracks, and maybe we should start the song. I was like, ah, I'm gonna record a train, but then somehow we came up with this idea um, to put a bunch of junk in a drum and to shake it. Yeah, I don't know how that we came up with that idea. I mean, you came up with it. I don't know what. I don't know what triggered that. it, but it sounded a lot like a train. Um, listen, listen. This is how it starts. with this this solo this is um, this track is called screws and this track is called screws too so we got a drum with a bunch of junk in it this is what that sounds like of the song and then you get some bird whistles some bird whistles because there's like bird references in the lyrics it's also like a tire iron that, oh yeah yeah really smacking on a tire smacking iron, a tire iron. A, um, a, a little ball of phone like a little wooden marimba oh yeah, yeah like the that. little a bunch accents of little on that percussions in that song yeah, there's a lot of a lot of interesting um yeah. oh and uh, uh, uh uh, euphonium yeah, yeah yeah david roof recorded with us um for that we brought him in just for the the middle section and um yeah for like what, 10 15 seconds worth of music it's, it's cool it's pretty good it kind of uh levels it up a little bit right kind of tuba um, tuba little march but we could go on and on about this song so I, I don't know i think we just wanted you to think about it and and go out and listen to it um 
there's a Spotify link and probably a you you could probably find it on YouTube, Google Play, anything you listen to music on. Um, if you listen to music on a CD, you can go buy those too. That's right. Um, but listen to it and let us know what you think about it. Listen for the the sound of the the train in the beginning. Um, and if we recorded something and we forgot about it and we didn't talk about it, why don't you tell us about it? <laughs> All right. Do y'all want to hear some more um, cultural some sp music? Sp Spanish guitar. Yeah. Oh. All right. Let me get this right. Thank you. 